to the trove. Let's play. We got another patch. I'm a little behind. I'm sorry. Behind the times. Things have been pretty busy. Uh, but this patch is... Uh, we got some cool, cool stuff in it. Let's see. Uh, this is the Chaotic Sugar Glider and Strike a Pose Edition. Fun fact, I've almost got... I almost tried to get a Sugar Glider as a pet. Turns out they're kind of high maintenance, though. I didn't know that. But, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. But, they're super cute. Anyways, um... So, one quick thing is that you should all try to log on every day this week. I've already missed a couple days. Actually, the week's almost over. <laughs> Um, but we got a little while left because everyone's got, at least if you have a Chaos Factor, because everyone's Chaos Factor has been doubled. Um, which is so cool. <laughs> That's like awesome. I get two Chaos Chests now instead of one. Uh, okay, but the Sugar Gliders. So, it's the new, it's in the Chaos Chests. Squeakers is a Sugar Glider mount able to run on the ground and glide in the sky like the dragons, but they can't shoot fireballs. As they note in the patch note, Squeakers does not like fire. Do not attempt to get him, her, slash her to shoot fireballs. Um, still cool though. Another flying mount. I'm wondering if there's ever going to be a way to, uh, to get Squeakers outside of this. Anyways, uh, I see some people here looking to get into that club. I'll, I'll uh, add them after I finish recording. Okay, if they're still online. Then. Anyways, so Squeakers will appear in the Chaos Chest for one week, but return to the game in some other fashion. Oh, okay. Good question answered. Um, so that's, that's good, I guess. I wonder what it's going to be. I hope it'll be something I can do, because I want them. Pretty bad. Uh, you can now trade patron passes um, if you buy the right kind. So if you go to the, do, 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 do. hey, cool, yeah. This free. I think that's for logging on. These, I think you get those for logging on consecutively. Anyways, um, so let's see. Patron passes over here. 30 day you can, when you buy this with the credits you can opt to have it be the tradable kind which is uh, I think I think that's probably how that works so that's good um, that means that it's eligible for things like stream giveaways okay then there's epic pose which I really want to try out um, finish this dungeon and give that a shot. I did, I sort of looked at it a second ago, but I didn't get a chance to mess with all the settings. Oh, it looks like we're in the middle of a uh, challenge here. I don't think we're going to do it, though. Uh, Alright, let me out of here. It's very cool. It's a new way to take screenshots, which I'm wondering if this is going to be viable for. As a matter of fact, well, no, that, that's not, never mind. Let's, uh... I just made a really weird noise. Do, 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 do. Let's see. What's going to make a good screenshot? Here, this thing's face will make a great screenshot. Okay, so. Yeah, so we go here. And then you type slash epic. Looks like we're probably going to have some friends in here. Oh, come on. Why aren't you typing? Slash? That's not typing in chat. My slash button broken? There we go. I typed slash instead. Epic. Pose. And, oh, invaders are coming. Perfect timing. Um, Alright, let's deal with these guys first. It's right now. It's double, uh, double loot or double adventure box, which means we can possibly get another manta ray. Cool. Oh, there's some people moving in. Next, I'm also having some audio troubles, so I apologize for that in advance. Epic pose. So each mount type has a different pose. You can rotate them around. 
Oh, look, multiple different poses. Okay, so let's see, pose one. Oh, that looks to be different camera angles. So, a couple things with this. Oh, wow. Back to Epic Zero. Let's go to Epic Three again, real quick. Okay, a couple things with this. First thing is that oh, there's some way to. Well, first of all, I think the screenshots might hide UI. Let's let's test that out. So let's do. I liked wah, this one. If we rotate them around a little bit. And then if I do screenshot. Now the screenshots are stored in a different place. Um, so they are in documents, trove, and then there's the screenshot done by date. So there, just so you know, I'm looking at it now, you can't see it, but it did not hide any of the UI. Um, it still kept the all the text. There is a way to hide UI. I think it's, is it F1? No. F7 or something? Oh, okay, F7 hid that UI, but it did not hide. Well, that UI was not in the screenshot already. F5, F6, F8. Maybe it's in the settings here? Social, show player names. So if we unchecked show player names and then restarted the game, the player names would be hidden and we could take a good screenshot. Um, so I won't do that now, but I might do some of that for my thumbnails. That would be very helpful. And I guess while we're at it, let's check, uh, let's check another mount. So let's see, here's the raptor. So let's check, like we have an adult dragon. We have one of those now, the neon adult dragons. Got that thanks to some awesome, awesome gift from Monster Ant. Amazing. I wonder what this looks like to other players. So it looks like the pose stays the same, but the camera angle changes. Ah, oh, we can see part of the... This looks like it's maybe orthographic, so somewhat. Kind of hard to tell with all, all of our friends around here. But pretty cool. Cool. Um, anyways. Let's move on. So the next thing to talk about is there's a new intro video. Now I just made a video. I don't think I uploaded it yet. I'll have to cancel the upload. Um, about like things that other MMOs or and and other building games and other voxel games and stuff have that Trove doesn't have. That because I made it. I made it, the video was about um, the decline in Trove players recently. And I'm going to recreate the video. I have some different things to say now. But um, one of the things that I commented on in the video was that there's like no lore in Trove, which is one of the things that has like a lot of WoW players coming back to WoW every patch. Is that like when they are were when they were more regular WoW players, they did it because they loved doing like the story and the world and wandering around these realms. And once they finished quest lines and you know, killed all the raid bosses or whatever uh, once or twice. They didn't feel the need to continue, and then they just sort of became whatever. But then when the expansion comes out, they want to know what's happening in the, in the lore universe. You know, there's a lot of... Uh, the Early on in the MMORPGs, lore was one of the things that was like, it's, a, it's an ex huge, massively multiplayer world, and uh, massive, massive role-playing uh, with, with so much lore to discover. And Trove does not have that. And it's not an MMORPG, but it is an MMO. Um, and it, it's almost RPG-like. There, there's there's not really enough class customization and progression, really, to be in a, an RPG, in my opinion. But it certainly is massive. And there... Um, so they they have uh, the new intro video, which is is pretty cool. It details um, some of Trove's backstory. I don't know if the, the weird thing. It's not the first thing they've done in the lore department, and I doubt it will be the last. But I don't know how they're gonna tie it in 
to the gameplay, or if they are going to even try to tie it into the gameplay. Um, because, uh, well, well, because, I don't know, it just didn't, I just didn't, it just doesn't seem to really fit all that well. I mean, if you read the flavor text on, like, the different parts here, actually, I can actually show you some right now. Uh, I can actually, because I have, I have it on me, in my other backpack here. Capable of storing almost limitless amounts of energy in the end, however, her research was discovered, she was banished, and her machines were smashed into pieces and hurled from the sky realms to the land and the oceans of, of the Prime, where the sailors and, whoops, treasure seekle, seekers find remnants of it to this day. Um, so I think this is supposed to partly give you a hint at where the next part of the neon night sky wings comes from, comes from the um, uh, treasure isles but it also is a storyline like a lore little storyline if you get the first part i don't know where i don't there, there's like a suggested order in which you get them in. i don't know what it is though so there's some lore there and other little pieces of things have little bits of lore every now and then but it's not really uh i don't know it doesn't feel all that like i i would never read that text um, unless I was having a discussion about lore with you guys in a video. So anyways, I'll talk about that more in a different video, but it's cool to see them start doing some lore. I'm not a lore kind of guy, so it doesn't really make a difference to me one way or the other. And I don't know, let me know in the comments, are you guys, would you guys like to see some, like, uh, storyline-ish quests in Trove? Would you find that interesting? Like what? If, what if there was like a like a dungeon, like a five-star dungeon that had a really rare chance of spawning in Uber Worlds U3 and up, and in it, and like when you got to the boss, there was like a, it like came out of a portal and said a little spiel and had a storyline to it or whatever, and. I don't know. Would that be interesting to you guys? It personally, to me, like I said, it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't really make all that much of a difference to me. But that's just me. Anyways, um, if you want to view it, you can. Uh, you, if you you can check the description for a link, uh, and I'll and I'll, I'll try. If I forget to put it, remind me in the comments, and I will. I'll put it there. But uh, it, is, it is on YouTube, but probably if you're a Trove player, you've probably already seen it when you already logged on to Trove, or if you, log, if you haven't done it yet since this newest update, uh, just update and log on, and you'll see it there. It's not very long, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Of course, we have, uh, we have uh, some more additions from the community, as well as... Um, uh, Oh, wait, what was that? That was cool. Wait, what's that? Something about footprints. Added footprints to the following raptor and bird map. Oh. Is there footprints? Let's see. Let's see if the robo raptor has one. Oh, yeah. How about that? I think that's the same footprints as the dragon. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so typical stuff like that. Just little fixes and, and, and that kind of a thing. Um, anyways. That's pretty much it for this patch. So like I said, I'll probably be putting out another short video. This is sort of a, uh, sort of a uh, recap since Trove's pat, uh, uh, official Steam release to talk about um, what's going on there and how, how we're doing. And uh, also I'm working on the mining guide, which is coming out soon. Um, not really. Uh, that easy of a video to put together, trying to find all these little bits and record little snippets and research them all. But that should be a ho helpful video for you guys when I finally put it out. It's coming along well, but it's just taking a long time. And, uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Um, I got a couple more videos down the pipeline, but none of them are quite as close to being done. So. I'll see you guys hopefully in the, in the next video as well as on a little YouTube live stream. I know you guys on YouTube have been dying to get the Balefire Wings keys much like the Twitch people, which is just not possible. Can't do giveaways over over YouTube videos. It, it, it really wouldn't work out because 
Well, first of all, the, the, the Balefire wings are for streamer are for stream giveaways. That's what the promotion is for, so I can't do those. And anything else, you have to trade in-game, and I can't really trade. Uh, I, you know what I just realized, by the way, like yesterday, was that these are gears. This tower is gears that are supposed to be fit together. I don't know what the whole structure is supposed to be, but it's like supposed to be a gear a gear system. I don't, I don't really know what it's supposed to be at, uh, at the top. But yeah. Anyways. Um, the, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Something about, oh yeah. Uh, but then the other thing is you have to trade in game. There's no way we'd be able to coordinate logging on at the same time you know and and actually doing the trade and it, it just wouldn't work out so uh but if there's youtube gaming is is new and i want to try it i i really want to try it so uh be sure to, to to keep your eye out in your sub boxes there for me streaming here on youtube where i'll be doing i'll be able to do all 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 the giveaways so much stuff uh, and who knows? Maybe maybe I'll switch over to doing more YouTube streams, or maybe I'll maybe I'll stick to Twitch. But uh, either way, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.